Hi, welcome to Tracy's Transformational Kitchen. We're so glad you could be with us today. Today we have my friend Mindy with us, and she has been through the most amazing transformation, and we would like to share that with you. Mindy, first of all, when did you begin? We began, I started doing some walking um, back in February, but I really, really didn't change just doing Of 2009? Yeah, 2009. Okay. I started doing some walking about February, and from February to April, I probably lost maybe 10 pounds. In 10 months time, both of us have lost over 150 pounds. Each. Each. Not together. Each I just person. hit my 150 today, so Woo! <laughs> like, so excited. Yay! <laughs> How were you but feeling during your transformation? You know, the first 90 days that we were doing the, the P90X workouts, um, they were hard. If, if you would have videotaped us then, you would have been laughing because we could do one sit-up or two sit-ups or, you know, a couple of push-ups. It was, it was really pathetic. And, you know, but we just kept at it. We just decided, no, this is how we're going to do it. Can you tell others who have wanted to lose weight, have wanted to change their eating habits, wanted to change their lives, and for you, for a long time, you felt that same way. You wanted to change. Every day you woke, woke up and said, today's the day I'm going to do it, but then relapse before the day was over. What do you tell people who want to change and I tell them, that rut? number one, that they have to find out what their why is. Well, you have to have a big enough why to do anything. And my why had to be big enough. I'll, my why's got to be bigger than a chocolate bar or a, you know, piece of candy or, or something like that. It, it's got to be big enough that when I'm focused, that I can focus on that um, why and and be, decide, you know, how am I going to make these changes? And then I had a son that had some weight problems that he needed to to change what he was doing in order to make to be able to go on a mission and and things like that so I really wanted to be an example for him and I had been to Overeaters Anonymous for several years and one of the biggest things there is to you know let go of what you think you can handle and you know let God handle the whole um, transformation you know let him do it and and trust in him that he will at the time I just pretty much prayed and made a covenant and said you know if you will help me get this weight off because it was impairing my life it was impairing the way I did things I and I take care of people on a daily basis and it was getting to where I was sore to lift them I was sore to do things and I wasn't as motivated as I should have been and I wasn't doing things with my kids that I'd like to have done because I had this weight on and so I pretty much said if you'll help me to get this weight off and help me to be an example for my son then I will I will do what you want me to do I'll you know bring people to Christ okay so I decided to make a covenant and I I basically told the Lord that I would help him um, bring people to him if he would help me get the weight off and I had prayed before and I had, you know, saw answers to this problem before, but I really, really needed to help my son and I wanted to be an example for him. And I really, really, really had a desire for it. I had a big enough why. And your why being your family. Mm -hmm, my family. And at the time, I really didn't know what I would be doing um, to help the Lord. I just kind of knew that I was going to be doing something. So you really had no idea. You just you'd go with whatever you felt like you were supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and you'd just do it. You know, I'm working on it. It's yeah. not like something yeah. that I'm not working on. And and if the Lord can help you yeah. here, and if He can he help can, me here, I know He can. The help Lord me there. knows all things. Yeah. I know that when I've gone to the Lord and I've just been like, okay, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just going to do whatever I'm told to do, yeah. and let go of the outcome. Well, you know, like when I first started, my why was about my children. I, then my why started changing. Um, you Ooh. know, my, my kids. Wow. Yeah. My kids were like, brain lost his weight and he went on his mission and 
learning to help other people somewhere somewhere I'm getting this these like bigger whys and they're not coming from me but when I am more aware of them and start acting on them I realize that I've been prepared for this all my life and if I hadn't have tried to overcome this weakness I would have never known that I would have never felt this joy at helping other people I have, and overweight people that I know I mean a lot of them are jovial but they're you know, they're putting on a face inside they're every sad. every account that I've read of somebody who's been really overweight and they have just the ones that I have read they went on an all raw diet and have lost tremendous weight they all say have said yeah I put on a front mm -hmm. I look happy I act mm -hmm. happy but underneath, I'm really struggling, yeah, yeah. sad, really depressed, really dealing with self-esteem issues, you know, and it's yeah. really a real detriment to I people's do. lives. I felt isolated. I felt like everybody was thin except for me. And, you know, I really didn't know how much fun people had that were thin until I started <laughs> running and doing yeah. things and com competing and, and it's fun and all that stuff. And, and it I'm makes like, life wow, fun. Wow, this is fun. Oh, so neat. I'm like always looking for the next adventure now. It's like, what can I train? You know, I've got to have like a goal so that's like, okay, here's a triathlon. I got to train for that. You know, I've got a marathon. I got to train for that. And right. it, it keeps me from sitting on the couch because I know me. Right. And I know that if I stop, right. I'll just go back to the way I was. So you I just have constantly to keep that. Watch yourself. I have to watch myself. Keep keep having mm -hmm. things to look forward to. Look forward to, to and to train. Wow. You know, my brother in law's been really great at that because he's like we we actually went to our five uh, K two days after Thanksgiving last year and I told him there was a lady with cancer and that she needed to raise some money to help and and he had run a half marathon. He had also lost ninety five pounds. Wow and ran a half marathon um, in November. And so he was like really fresh on running and he's like, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, I have not even ran a mile. <laughs> I mean, how and can you I want do me to run how far? I was lucky that it was a walk run. Uh -huh. You know, I'm like, well, if I can't run, I can walk part right. of it. But when I started running and he stayed with me for the first little bit just to kind of you know, get me over the breathing yeah. part, you know, and to right. kind of encourage that me. First. Yeah. yeah, and then I said, okay, go ahead and take off. I know you're kind of waiting <laughs> around for the slow poke, you know. But he went ahead and took off, and the trail came, you know, you go down and then you come back. Oh, yeah. And the trail came, he was coming back by me, and I'm like, I haven't stopped running yet. And I was like, and he's like, well, if the turning point is just halfway up the... The, you can make it. Yeah, if you make there. it to there, you can make it back. And I'm like, okay. So in my mind, I just, you know, I did it. And w once I broke through that barrier of running uh -huh. and got past that first mile, mile and a half, then I was able to to do awesome. it. And when I when I finished that wow. 3.1 miles, I literally was crying because wow. I could not believe that I'd ran that, you know. That's so and awesome. My husband that night, I was bawling. He's like, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe I'm to this point in my life where I could run a 5K, you know? I just want to say that if anybody's out there struggling and you want some help, when you're ready, the mentor is there. And I'm ready to be the mentor for anybody that wants to go on this journey and have the support that they need. And I, I do really think that the number one way to lose weight is to having someone that's with you, that's motivating you. And you so, think anybody can do it? Anybody can.